the fat knight. Oh, there's a woman here, it's time to have fun, guys. The pirate muttered with a rotten tooth grin. Let's just kill this fat pig. The one who was called a fat pig was indeed incredibly obese. Like a cliff, he stood in front of the raging Berbers, clutching a sword in his hands. Behind him, sobbing in horror, the thin and very beautiful wife of a giant was closing the eyes of her 12-year-old son. I closed it so that the boy wouldn't see what was going to happen. On April 22, 1600, a boy was born in the Italian city of Arezzo, who was so large that his birth cost his mother's life. His father, a noble Milanese nobleman and captain of the city guard Girolamo Dalboro, gave the boy the name Alessandro. Captain Dalboro did not blame his infant son for the death of his dearest wife. The fact is that Girolamo himself was quite a big man, so he was well aware that part of the blame for what happened lies with him. Alessandro was brought up in an atmosphere of love and trust. The father doted on his son and was proud that the boy was healthy as a bull. After reaching adulthood, Alessandro Dalboro went to Florence, where he entered the local university. The young man studied mathematics, astronomy, art, however, he achieved the greatest success in military affairs. Classmates, most of whom weighed three times less than Alessandro, laughed at the big guy, should he be a military man? The fat knight is how Dalboro was nicknamed at the University of Florence. However, the young man was not discouraged. Alessandro designed several military vehicles, which received the highest praise from the teacher. Dalboro's talent for military affairs was undeniable, which determined his future. Despite a rather poor diet during his studies, Alessandro became heavier and heavier. By the end of his studies, Dalboro weighed about 200 kilograms. However, the excess weight did not prevent the 18-year-old Alessandro from taking part in the Thirty Years' War, which began in Europe in 1618. Dalboro was accepted into the squad of Ottavio Piccolomini, the famous Siena captain. Piccolomini was sent by Grand Duke Cosimo II de' Medici to Germany to help Emperor Ferdinand II, the wife of Cosimo's daughter Anna de' Medici. Alessandro went to German soil with his captain. No one would bet a dime that Dalboro is waiting for success on the battlefield, however, Alessandro showed himself from the best side. Not only did he turn out to be a skillful and visionary commander, but he also wielded the sword incredibly effectively, striking enemies right and left like an animated armed mountain. Contemporaries were amazed at the incredible activity of the fat knight. Alessandro took part in bloody battles in the first rolls, spent a lot of time under the scorching sun, rode a powerful heavy horse. Dalboro never complained about the state of his health, he was practically not ill. Moreover, the big man was very popular with women who found him quite handsome. However, unlike many of his male contemporaries, Alessandro was a one lover. In 1644, when Dalboro turned 44, his wife gave him a son Nicholas. Subsequently, the wife accompanied her knight in all campaigns. Dalboro's numerous victories did not go unnoticed, Cosimo II awarded his loyal colleague a baronial title. Alessandro Dalboro, who gained a couple of tens of kilograms by adulthood, did not even think of ending his military career. The Baron became one of the main actors in the Italian-Turkish clashes of the first half of the 17th century. In the Ottoman Empire, the Fat Knight was so feared that they were nicknamed the Terror of the Turks. In a few years, General Dalboro performed several glorious feats at once, he captured the fortress of Castiglian del Lago, inflicted a heavy defeat on Barberini in Mangiavino, defeated the army of General Meru, and captured several thousand of his soldiers. In 1652, Alessandro was appointed commander of the army of the Grand Duchy of Tuscany with the simultaneous assignment of the title of Marquis. In 1654, as one of the commanders of the Venetian army, Dalboro took part in the naval battle of the Dardanelles. Alessandro managed to recapture Lemno, Aegina, and Tenedo from the Turks. In 1656, Alessandro, his wife and son Nicholas were returning to Venice on an Italian merchant ship. Off the island of Corfu, the ship was boarded by Barbary pirates, a cruel rabble consisting of Ottomans and natives of North Africa. Del Barro got into a fight with several robbers at once. They fought off the Berbers rushing at him, as if on a rock, the Marquis covered his wife and son with his mighty body, but he himself received fatal wounds. Alessandro's men, angered by the death of their good commander, were able to throw the pirates overboard. The wife and son of the Marquis d'Alboro were injured, but, thanks to the dedication of their father, survived. The fat knight also won his last, most important, battle, 